it's insane. Like, this is what dreams are made of to, for me. I just couldn't believe that I got to act with all of these people that I already, like, I'm a huge fan of. I just couldn't have asked for better co-stars. Alicia's incredible, the next superstar of the world. Um, Catherine is hilarious. Dan Stevens. I mean, Dan is like everywhere right now, and he deserves to be a movie star. Kevin as well. Like, this is his moment. I feel like, and Will is the sweetest and nicest. And like, you know, I didn't know him before, and now I'm like, he needs to be everywhere. I just feel like everyone, and obviously Angus. He's no longer with us, but he was such an important and special part of this project, and and I'm so happy that we got to know him and as a person and as an artist. Um, and I think he would have loved this movie. I think he would have found it hilarious. Yeah, it was a lot, a lot of blood. I think it was something like between 25 and 30,000 liters of blood. Yeah. Not every movie has blood cannons, so I think that was like one of my favorite things to shoot. I think horror movies are best enjoyed in theaters in general, but I think this one specifically has so many twists and turns and so many jump scares but also like laugh out loud moments and it's contagious when you're with people and and I just hope that people go to see it in theaters it's a kind there's so much blood that you'll feel like the blood is on you and like I think that can only happen if you're seeing it on the biggest screen possible it's just a joy it's a thrill it's a ride and I think we need movies like this I think this is the kind of movie that people will enjoy watching in a theater and we need to we need to save the theaters you know like we need people to keep going for us to keep having theatrical releases it feels like yesterday it feels like it's gone by in a flash it was one of the best times i ever had on a set i love them so much they never told me no and you see these tattoos because of them. They didn't say no, Catherine. They're like, yeah, tattoos, let's get some tattoos. Like, whatever I wanted, they just kept adding anything. Um, but I love them. I think that they love blood more than they might love me, which is fine. I accept that. That's their thing. Um, and I hope I work with them again. I think that they know what they're doing. And, I, and it's funny, you get a genre film, you don't know how it's going to go. And they were really inviting. And I, they got some great actors, and they used them to their best of their ability. They, like, invited all of us to come up with ideas. and. Um, not all of them made the cut, right? But at least you're trying. And I think that as a cast, you, you start to love each other, you bond, and hopefully audiences can feel that as well as get scared and just have a good time. The reason it's my favorite part of the movie is not because it's ridiculous, which it is, it's absolutely ridiculous, but it's because the directors, it was about this long in the script, it was like one line, and then they were like, can you show us a dance? I was like, okay. And then it was a two minute video, and they're like, yeah, we're gonna turn that into a 15 minute like part of the movie and I was like I don't know what you're doing but that's what I'm talking about is the collaboration and the input they took my routine and they were like we're teaching it to Alicia and you guys are gonna do it together and I'm like what are you talking about this wasn't in the script but it's it's just they were like it's bonkers and we like it my favorite part about the set is that it was a real set so I didn't have to imagine anything and I also got to shoot in order. We got to shoot in order. So as the cast and I were like discovering each other and discovering our characters on the day, you just it was more natural. You know, you knew what was coming, you knew where you've been and uh, I think it helps you as an actor. I love the blood. I'm all about the blood. I mean, that's what I wanted. I wanted I uh, this is the goriest film I've ever been in, hands down. I hope that they have um, a big old smile on their face, like I did when I left the theater the first time I saw it. It feels amazing to be here. I'm so excited to be here. I can't, I honestly can't believe I'm in LA right now. <laughs> It was incredible. I mean, every single day was so exciting and so special. And we had the most incredible cast, the most incredible crew, and especially the most incredible directors that made everything 10 times better. And I definitely couldn't have done it without any of them. I think this is a film people need to see as although it is a horror film, it is very funny as well and it has so much humor. And I think if you don't like horror films, what we hope you take out of this is that you had fun, you enjoyed it, you felt like you were on this wild ride with us, this emotional roller coaster, and we just hope you have fun and enjoy it. They are the sweetest boys. They are so fun, they're so funny. I've never worked with a duo before and they seem to kind of divide the stress 
that any normal filmmaker might be enduring. So they're super chill and they would just encourage us to improvise, play around, make each other laugh and uh, we had such a fun time with this and I hope you do too. You've never seen anything like this. It's a vampire ballerina heist movie. How many of those are there? It was incredibly special to get to work with Angus, you know, he was a unique human being. I've never met anyone like him. He was very special. He was like all of our little brother on set, really, and we loved him. And this movie is a great tribute to him at the end, and he's fantastic in it. And he would have laughed his ass off at this movie. He would have loved it. It was ridiculous. It was, it was, it was so much fun. Um, you know, I, I, I wondered when I saw Ready or Not, like, what did these guys do differently? Like, why did that movie work so well? I mean, there's a lot of reasons as to why it worked well, but there's this added element. And now after, after having worked with them, it's because they set this tone of just being these great humans who are living their dream. And they're saying, we really want you to come and help us live our dream while you live your dream. And then you go and everybody's kind of like, isn't this awesome? Covered in blood. Right? Uh, you know, and, uh, and you're laughing. And you're trying not to laugh during the takes because you're having so much fun. That's an amazing question. Because I kept saying during this entire junket, I would totally want to be a vampire. And then I would just, you know, I'd have to wait till my wife and kids gave me permission to turn them too because then we could hang out forever because life is good. Life is good. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm constantly, every day I'm trying to figure out how do I live longer so I can know my girls until they have white hair? How do I do that, right? Become a vampire. People need to see this movie in theater, especially in theater, so that they can feel the tension. They can feel the projectile blood <laughs> shooting out of the screen. It's ridiculous. Like, it's so incredible. Like, so you have that element to it. So some people might be like, oh, I don't know, that's, 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 that's too much blood. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some crazy people who think that way. But um, you've got a, a, a movie where you care about every single character. Everybody gets a chance to shine. Uh, you've got the greatest villain that I've ever seen in, in Abigail. Alicia's just absolutely insane. You've got Melissa Ferreira, you've got Dan, you've got Cap. Everybody is so great in the, in the film. And, uh, um, and our, our, our dear friend uh, Angus Cloud did, um, was amazing. And I feel so lucky that I got to be in a movie with him because he was like a breath of fresh air and a real light. And uh, yes, and, but he was the guy that would walk around open hearted and he, he was more concerned about being a good person than being a star. And, and uh, so um, anybody that's watching this just know how wonderful he was. Abigail is one of those films that's going to get people back out to their theaters. I think because it's like, a, what, it's a child that's doing it, a young actress who's phenomenal. But, you know, children have innocence, but then she's kind of creepy, and then she's a vampire. So, yeah, we want to see that. And she's doing ballet. It's a win-win. The house itself was creepy. It was about 15 to 20 degrees colder when you walked into the house. So the house was a character in itself. Oh, you have to see it on the big stream, and you have to see it with an audience, because it's just a big, blood-soaked thrill ride of a vampire movie, and it's, it's a crowd pleaser. I think when you're dealing with the directors of Scream and Ready or Not, you don't really get a say in that. I think they're just getting blood and blood and blood and blood. So, yeah, no. It's great, and I really hope people like it. I mean, we had a blast making it, despite yeah. all of the obstacles, and, you know, hopefully people have a good time. Thankfully, we have each other to sort of always up the ante. Like, at the end of the day, we're only ever looking to just make each other laugh and entertain each other. Pretty so much. That's, that's the compass the whole time. <laughs> Because it is designed to be seen in a theater. It's one of those movies where hopefully you'll be scared, you'll laugh, you'll share all those moments as a community. And I think yeah. that's that's the idea. And there's a contagious nature to all of those things, right? When you're scared together and you're laughing together, that that travels through an audience in such a fun and electric way. And we really hope that uh, that people show up and have that experience. No, we're happy to talk about Angus. We had such a wonderful time working with him. We feel so grateful to have had the chance to get to know him. And um, he, he, changed, he changed our lives for the better uh, on, on set and off set. I think that um, we all have such a fond, 
such a fond memory of getting to work with him and getting to know him. He's one of those charismatic people that just wears his, his heart and his personality on his sleeve. And if you know him, you love him. You know, he was just an instant friend to everybody who met him. I don't think you can get the full experience of how much blood we use if it's just on a small screen at home. It, we delivered it in every way you could possibly deliver blood on, a sc on screen. We did it.